by the end of this video you're going to create something like this and this is coming up hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video so if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here thanks so much for coming back again okay so we're going to look at how to create a leaf logo sort of like a leaf logo in photoshop it is going to be very simple and very brief so let's get started so first of all i'm going to create a new document of 1920 by 1080 you can use any size of your choice and then you click ok when you are done so i have my document set over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make use of the shapes over here i'm going to specifically make use of the ellipse tool that is the circle tool and you're going to use that to create the shape this idea is basically like you can manipulate or you can put together a lot of shapes to create something unique for yourself right this is going to take the form of like the adidas logo so at the end of this video you get to understand it okay so i'm going to hold shift and draw a nice circle around this side basically something like this so you can change the color to obviously see where you are or what you're doing and then you press ctrl a and then you center it vertically and then horizontally and then you press ctrl d to deselect so what we're going to do is we're going to lower the fill to zero percent right click and go to blending options and then we're going to add a stroke to it so it is going to give us a stroke and then three or any any amount that you want will be okay but then you can increase the size over here so i three will work for me so i'm going to click okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and then rasterize this layer style so you can decide to press ctrl t to transform it or you can leave it like that so next i'm going to view and then new guideline and then i'm going to type in 50 percent on the vertical edges so okay so this is basically dividing my ellipse or eclipse or circle anyhow you call it into two so next we're going to press ctrl j to duplicate our circle and then you're going to drag it over here so we want it around this place so this is cool and then i'm going to drag it down because i want this part only okay so what i'm going to do again is i'm going to press ctrl j to duplicate again and then i'm going to place that one also over here so the purpose of the line over here is to divide it and give it that simple look over there so that is all that we're looking for so at this point what we're going to focus on is what do we actually want out of this whole thing it could be that we want this shape we want this shape or this shape any one of them but then our focus is over here and this place so these are the two places that we are focusing on so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we clear off all the parts that we don't want so taking this particular ellipse or shape when you zoom in clearly you can see that it starts from here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick my eraser tool and make sure the hardness is 100 percent and then i'm going to clear off this area so like that and then i clear off all these parts okay so i'm going to do this for the rest of the ellipse or the circles so i'm left with the shape that we actually wanted so basically at this point we're going to we're going to fill the color but then I would like to group all these so i hold shift and select all the three and then i press ctrl e to merge them to become one okay so it is one thing so now we're going to add a color to it but i don't want the color to be on the same layer as this one so this is my main layer i can duplicate it and turn it off anytime so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my background add a new layer and then that is what i'm going to paste my color on it so this is the whole idea so i'll first of all select my ellipse over here that is the shape that we've created go and select the quick selection or the magic one selection and then i'm going to select this area so when i select this area quickly i'll go, come and pick my layer that i added and then go for the gradient tool over here and then i'm going to drag 
this so it basically fills this one for me i'll go back to my ellipse go for the magic one do the selection and come back to our main layer and pressing g that is for the gradient i'll also fill this part now the gradient that i'm using is this you can i'll put the quotes over here you can check it out and this color also is that one okay so i'll go for okay you can use almost any color but that is the one that i'm using for this tutorial so after i'm done i'm going to press ctrl d to deselect and then when you turn off our main or ellipse the shape that is guiding us basically this is what we have it so when you turn off this one you have your shapes really cute so nice and then you can manipulate you can basically crop this one out like that so you can duplicate this or change it anyhow you want it and then you can make so many great things out of this so basically that is how to do the leaf logo in photoshop thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and then i'll get back to you with another video it's innocent here bye